Hello, how are you? I noticed that the Zoom H2n takes a little while to boot up depending on the card that you inserted and I want to compare the speeds at which it starts so I got some micro SD cards with 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, an SD card with 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes and why not 128 gigabytes. Let's just start with the 128 gigabytes X uh, extreme capacity card because uh, this is something you probably know. Uh, I mean, some of you will know what happens. Hopefully you knew before you bought the thing. So when you put in a huge card like that, what you get is no SD card. And the reason for that is not that there is no SD card or that something is broken, it's just that this device does not support this kind of capacity. Let me just get the manual here. Here we have it. You can find in the manual PDF uh, right here. Recording media, 16 megabytes to 2 gigabytes SD cards or 4 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes SDHC cards. Right, and then you have to test each card individually, of course. So that is that. No uh, XC cards for this device. Let's just take this out. And we're going to start with the 2 gigabyte SD cards, which are not even high capacity. Uh, I don't. I don't know which adapter to use, let's go for SanDisk, but I don't think it matters at all. All right, so now we're gonna start comparing the speeds. Let's go. Okay, so that was rather fast and we can start recording immediately. All right, let's put it on the list and let's keep going with a bigger card. Now what I did notice is that the first time you start a card, it might be a bit slower. So take that in mind. We're gonna start each card twice just to make sure. Okay, so this is a four gigabyte card and it went well at first but then it took some time with this uh, weird progress bar so let's try it again clearly this was much faster all right let's continue with uh, the next let's actually try this four gigabytes sd card uh, sdhc card rather than a micro sd card Let's see if there's any difference. All right, here we go. Okay, that seemed to be quite the same speed. Um, okay, let's record real quick. And let's try it again. I got the feeling that this could be better. Hmm, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. All right, let's uh, continue onwards. The reason why I'm testing this is because sometimes you want to just start your device and start recording. I'm sure you know what I mean. And uh, if you have to wait for the car to load, that is a problem and a reason for you to decide to use a smaller card. Okay, this is 8 gigabytes. Let's continue with 8 gigabytes. I want, of course, to know it for myself so I can optimize my work and uh, I want to share this info so you don't, you don't have to test this. Did you just say no SD card? All right, I'm gonna have to go to a computer and check this. All right, so this card here is, uh, doesn't work. Computer doesn't recognize it. I guess I don't have a 8 gigabytes card for testing, but I mean I found another 4 gigabytes. Let's just test this real quick. 
Because why not? All right, here we go. First boot. Well, that's a bit slow. And we're going to try that one more time. I think I'm going to measure from the beginning of a screen flash to the appearance of this screen. All right, so that seems to be pretty much the same. It's really a shame that we don't have an 8 gigabytes one for comparison. I wonder if if I take a 16 gigabytes one and format it as 8 gigabytes, would that have the same effect? Probably. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, let's test a 16 card, a 16 gigabytes card. That's what we're testing now. Okay. So this is noticeably slower, but it might be the first time I'm using this card and this device, so let's give it give it a little more time. This is really long. Something broken, dude? Come on, man. Oh boy. Okay, let's abort. Uh-oh. Okay, time to find out what happens when you just pull out a card. No SD card. Okay, and then I insert it and then it works. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully it'll work. Of course, we don't want this to happen in live production. Okay, so that went acceptably fast. Just to be sure, let's measure it again. Okay, seems to have been the same. It doesn't seem much slower than a 4 gigabytes card, to be honest. All right, let's get this one out. Right, so I've got a 32 gigabytes no-name card here and a Samsung 32 gigabytes. Uh, this was 16 gigabytes. So we're going to start with the Samsung one. And yes, let's keep using the same adapter for consistency. All right, here it is, and let's boot it. I think this is noticeably slower. I think it is. That is interesting. And it is what I what was feeling while using it in the last few weeks. I thought, why is it taking so long? Yeah, let's do another run just to be sure. So slow. Because this is the exact card I've been using actually in the past few weeks. Okay, so that was quite slow. Let's try the no name one. Here we go. Um, are you going to get stuck again? Please don't. I think it is. I think it's getting stuck on me. I don't know what's up with that. All right. Out you go. No SD card. Insert card. I mean, we're learning here. We're learning the solution to this problem, at least. I am waiting. Please finish working. Zoom, zoom. All right, here we go. Let's go out of here and try that one again. Go. Oh, so slow, so slow. Are you, you're not going to get stuck again, are you? Okay, here we go. So that felt weirdly long. Let's try that one more time. Oof. 
what it is. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going back to 16 or maybe even 4 gigabytes. Really makes me wish I had a working 8 gigabytes card. Maybe I'll find one, but I don't think I have one. So this has been enlightening and uh, I hope this is useful for you as well. Now that you know that you can get started with recording quicker by using a smaller size SD card or SDHC card. Definitely useful for me. All right, so let's take a look at these numbers. Uh, the 4 gigabytes blue SD card by SanDisk, I, I think it's super, super old. Class 2 might be an indicator or the reason why it was so slow. And then there was the 32 gigabytes unknown class 10 card. Maybe class 10 is a lie. I don't remember if I ever tested it actually. I don't remember where it is from, to be honest. Yeah, probably from AliExpress. Don't remember if I tested it. Basically, we have a continuous growth from 2 to 32 gigabytes. At 32, we have nearly 8 seconds. At 16, we have 4 seconds. At 4, we have 2.5 seconds. Uh, yeah, seems to make sense somehow. Except it really doesn't make sense why a class 4 4 gigabytes card would be slightly faster than a class 10 4 gigabytes card. And there are also statistical outliners. So what does this mean to you? It means that you should test your own cards, actually. If you have a 16 and a 8 gigabytes card, test and measure how long it takes for them to boot. If you have two different 16 gigabytes SD cards, I would recommend that you compare them. One of the two might compare much better. So now that you know that the boot time actually can change, in extreme situations where you are hunting for sounds that really need to be recorded, you should switch to smaller cards, absolutely. And apart from that, in general, now you can be prepared and at least you know what's going on with your recorder, why it's taking so long, if it is taking so long. Please let me know about your recorder's boot times and uh, whether you made any changes in which card you use based on this information that I provide in this video. I would be really glad to read about this in the comments. My decision is pretty firm. I will not be using the 32GB card anymore because it was noticeably slow. I will be using the 16GB card. I actually checked. My recording capacity from my last trip was actually below 8GB, 7 and something. So I don't want an 8GB card, I want 16 but I don't want to have to wait 8 seconds. 4 seconds is fine. So this is the card I will be using in my Zoom H2N from now on, and not the Samsung UHS-1 anymore, even though its rating is better. So let's put you up in here for a compromise in speed of booting and, and not having to worry about space. Right, so I hope this was useful to you. As I said, please subscribe to support this channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, man, that, that felt really quick. Until then, ciao.